What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Last time, we entered the depths of Mementos in order to find what laid at its center. In this episode, as the trains roll on by, we find what is at the heart of this... Um... What? Um... I love what I call upon my name and release thy rage! Well, wait, hold on a sec. I know it's been about a week since I last uploaded anything, but something doesn't quite feel right. Hang on, hold on a sec. Uh, ah, here we are. Ah, there we go. Much better. Anyway, actually, what happened last time was that we continued to develop our bonds and confidants as we were waiting for the perfect opportunity to go and steal Akumura's heart. We still got time. We've got plenty of time. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Anyway. What exactly are we going to be doing this evening, since we are obviously not heading on into Mementos to face off against Kirby? Well, if we take a look at our text messages, we can see that Yoshida is going to be giving a speech tonight. I do apologize that it's been about a week since I really uploaded anything. Things were really busy, like really busy for the past two weeks actually. I was actually surprised I was able to get like the stuff for the prior week. So yeah, I do apologize that I kind of just went missing for about a week, but I'm back. I've got time again. Woo! So anyway, tonight we are going to go and spend some time with Yoshida. Or at the very least, we're going to go to the station. I'm not sure why sometimes, like, it just goes, like, automatically initiates it, and other times it doesn't. I understand if it's party members, but whatever. Everyone. Good evening. Hello, oh, Yoshida-san. Yeah, sure. So tonight, we're spending some time with Yoshida. Thank you. A weekly magazine reported that Kuramoto was the real culprit in the fund's misappropriation case. Old man Kuramoto will likely be forced to retire from the political world. The police can't do anything because it was 20 years ago. But he has a moral obligation. I hear his grandson Benzo resigned from the party as well. It could be due to Matsushita's influence, or perhaps it's just the party's way of atoning. Now it's all up to me and my abilities. When's your speech gonna start, Taranasuke? We can't wait! To think that people would be excited to hear me speak. 
The article mentioned I didn't want the real culprit to be named, even though I knew who it was. Apparently, people admire me for having quietly accepted a false charge for 20 years. I didn't intend for any of this to happen, though. <laughs> well, the truth is out there now. I suppose in a way, your true self was revealed. I appreciate that someone like you, who's been watching me so closely, would say such a thing. I've struggled for the past 20 years, but I can put that all behind me after the election. Oh, look at the time. I should get started. Today will be the last day I'll request help from you. A member of the Phantom Thieves. Huh? I don't intend to meddle. Everything I've told you has been based on assumptions. But if you're still willing to listen, then I think you should focus on your work. Because the time is now. I can't think of anything else to teach you. You are now an expert on giving speeches. I taught you all I know about the art of public speaking in return for you supporting a guy like me. And over time, you became someone who shared my beliefs. Thanks to you, I was able to overcome my crisis these last few months. I will strive for the royal road of politics, thinking of you as you walk down your own path. But if you ever find yourself in harm's way on your journey, I will be there to help you. We'll be comrades who reform the world together. <laughs> I appreciate that, Yoshida-san. To a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the sun, granting thee infinite power. And with this, we have now maxed out the sun confidant. So. Our final ability is Charismatic Speech. This ability allows us to negotiate with shadows that are of a higher level than ourselves. Up to this point, we had to be of an equal level to the shadow if we wanted to try to negotiate with them to join our side. But with this ability, even if a shadow is of a higher level, we can recruit it. So that helps out significantly when it comes to certain shadows that would otherwise be very problematic. And would otherwise you would try to just negotiate money just so you could end the fight. This is a pretty good ability. Plus it helps uh, cut down on potential fusions in the future. Since there are some shadows that are such a high level that you're not expected to negotiate with them at that level. Alright, so it's a very helpful ability to have, especially if you negotiate often. Which, let's be honest, you really should. Alright, but by finishing the Sun Confidant, we can now fuse Ashura, the most powerful persona of the Sun Arcana. I'm sure you will accomplish everything you set out to do. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Yoshida-san. All right, it's time to begin. Yoshida's speech is about to start. I cut my date short so I could watch this, you know? Does anyone out there have something they aspire to do? I met a certain young man. Through a method that differs from mine, he was trying to reform the world. As you know, 
That is a very large mountain to cross. Unfortunately, I am unable to travel the same path as him. However, I will not say goodbye, because we will surely meet at the peak. He is desperately doing what he aspires to do. So I encourage you all, please find what it is that you aspire to do. And I will support you, because that is what I aspire to do. Way to go, Tyrannosuke! I believe in you! <laughs> Far cry from what happened at the beginning of all this. And we get a few extra points into, well, useless charm. All right. Well, that was a nice speech. Everyone's in confidence. to help inspire people to rise up to defend themselves, not to do all the work for them. They just don't get it. And this is one of the instances in which we get some extra time thanks to Kawakami. What do you want to do? So what exactly are we going to be doing with this free time? Well, we are going to be doing a little bit of reading. So what we are going to be reading... Hopefully I have it. Yes, I do. Okay, good. Wasn't sure if I was up to date in all my books. But we are going to be spending our time reading... Tidying the Heart. It's been a while since we actually read a book. Yeah, we still need another time to read it, but we are at least getting somewhere. Uh-oh.
not wrong. Okay, so, now that school's out, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, if we take a look at our text, we see that Yusuke has something to talk to us about. And it's basically just, hey, want to just meet up at the station? Sure. Today, we are going to talk to Yusuke. And we are going to be hanging Whoa. out. Yes, we're fine. Sure. So today we are going to be spending some time with Yusuke. Thank you. Meet up with them. Indeed. Oh, that's convenient. Let us be off. Let's get going then.
could this be? Hold up. Sell him? What do you mean? How foolish. I decline. Did you say? You are unforgivable. 
No, he just disappeared out of existence. Wait, what did you say? Nothing? is within you. Yes. my thanks. Hmm. Uh, huh. uh, well, I'm glad that I can be that support for you, Yusuke. At any rate, now Yusuke gets access to Master Duplication. So now he can duplicate high-level skill cards, which we will proceed right. to never use. But it's there if you want it. Okay. Turn home. Later, Yusuke. Ah, you're back. Okay, so I think we've got about enough time for one more activity. So what exactly are we going to be doing this evening? Well, first things first. Before we get to the night activity, there was something that we recently got access to. And that was the Shady Commodities website from that laptop we got. So let's check out Shady Commodities. So, Shady Commodities is a very interesting shop. Basically, what this will allow us to do is that we will be able to get items that would be very difficult to find, if not impossible to find, through other means. We can only order one item at a time, but it will be delivered within a couple days. And, the more that we spend using Shady Commodities, the more access to well, additional items we'll get. So the more that we buy, the more stuff we'll be able to get. So, uh, as long as we just continue to buy stuff, we'll get access to more and more things. Sketchy, but why don't we just take a look? Hell no, that'd be a stupid idea. I know. Why don't I just use Joker?
Okay, so right now we have access to only these four items. We have the Nirvana Ring, which is pretty pricey, but it does come with some additional benefits. A Black Rock, which, you know, can be helpful if we want to transmutate Personas into accessories. A 5-inch Nail, which deals Curse Damage. And Condenser Lens. Uh, so what we are going to first buy is the Nirvana Ring. It's really pricey, but this will automatically give us access to the next tier of items. So, eh, a little bit more than I would really like to spend, but I definitely have money to burn. Oh, I can actually buy even more stuff if I really want to. Well, nothing else here is really all that beneficial. Black Rocks are, but... Eh, don't really need anything else right now. So yeah, the first threshold is at 10,000. That's why I wanted to get that accessory. Because otherwise I'd need to buy, like... Actually, I'm not sure all of the other items combined would get me that much. Alright, there we go. And, just like in Persona 3 and Persona 4, using Tanaka services does not take up time. So as long as you just head up into your room, you're good. So anyway, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, we could hang out with Oya. Uh, is there anyone... Uh, well, unfortunately, there's no one else available. I mean, Kawakami, but... Eh. Well, that's a little bit of a shame. I was hoping I could maybe try to catch up with something instead of just spending more time with Olya. Actually, now that I think about it, pressing all the wrong buttons. Anyway, can we rank up with Olya? No, we can rank up with Olya. Okay, so that's not necessarily a bad thing to do right now. Well, in which case, to save myself a little bit of yen, Oh, she's drunk again. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, we are going to be spending our time with Oya. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, let's get going. Did something bad happen? It didn't matter how I responded to that one. Doubled?
Yikes, your boss really doesn't like you. Come on, Oya, you should trust her more. There's the Oya I know and love. Now, you could also say, you're a great journalist, and you get the same amount of points. No hard feelings, oh yeah. just not going well for her. I wish we could do more than just give her Phantom Thief stories, but all right, there's not really a whole lot else we can do. Poor Oya. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, jeez. Later, Oya. Right, and now we got a seat on the train. So what are we going to be reading? Well, we did read a little bit of Tidying the Heart, so why don't we finish that up? Hmm? And just like that, we finished another book. All the stars. Not, not quite max proficiency yet. All right. But proficiency is something that we still need. Yep. Now everyone. What? Do you know this one? I chose black and white for a soccer ball. Uh, yeah. The reason why it's black and white is that it shows up well on TV. This is it. Precisely. We get more points into useless knowledge. All right. Yeah. Alright, well, with everything that's said and done, we are just about good to call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play, Persona 5! Can't do my outro in the classroom, it's too claustrophobic! We are just about ready to head on into the metaverse to do, well, 
something. I'm not saying yet whether or not we're gonna head on into Mementos or if we are going to head on into Okuma's Palace. Because believe it or not, we are going to be heading into both in the near future. We've got quite a lot of requests that we have built up, but we also still need to steal Okumura's heart. So, we are going to, well, see what all is... Well, we're going to be doing one of those things next time. Which one? Even I don't know. No, seriously, there is something that I'm waiting for, and I'm pretty sure I said what it was. And I'm not sure because I move things around whether or not I'll actually be able to do things in the, the way I intended them. But we'll find out soon enough. So until next time, everyone, take care.